In this video, we shall look at how to perform integration of logarithmic functions. We shall deal with natural logarithmic functions that is written in such a form, Ln, which is just a logarithm to the base e. So let's get started. Let's look at the following integral. Now we can solve this integral using integration by parts. So let's first set u and v prime. Now we can set natural log of x to be u and v prime to be 1. So that means u prime is just 1 over x and v is just x. So j will become u times v, that is your first term, x natural log of x minus the integral of now u prime and v which is 1 over x times x dx. And this is an easy integral to do, which is just an integral of dx. So your final answer is x natural log of x minus x plus an integration constant. And that's the final answer. Let's look at the following integral. Now we can solve this using substitution. So let's set natural log of x to be w. So the differential of w is just 1 over x differential of x. Substituting these information into i, you can rewrite the above integral purely in terms of w. Natural log of x is w, so the numerator is w squared. dx times 1 over x is just dw. And you get 1 over 3 w cubed plus an integration constant. So let's rewrite w as natural log of x. It is just natural log of x to the power 3 plus the same integration constant. And that's the final answer. Now what about this integral? Note that we have p. p is a constant. We can do the same earlier substitution that we did before. We can set w to be the natural log of x. So dw is 1 over x dx and rewrite h in terms of w and you will get natural log of x is w so w to the power of p dx over x is dw like that and you get w p plus 1 over p plus 1 plus an integration constant rewriting the w in terms of x you get natural log of x to the power p plus 1 over p plus 1 plus the integration constant and that's the final answer. Let's do the following integral. Note that whenever you see natural log of x together with 1 over x, one substitution that you can try is the one that we did before. Namely, if you set let's say v to a natural log of x. So the differential of v is just 1 over x dx. Now let's rewrite j in terms of v and j becomes an integral of sine v dv and that is just minus cosine of v plus an integration constant let's call it a so substituting back the expression for v you have cosine of natural log of x plus the integration constant a and that is the final answer. Now let's look at this integral. Well, we have natural log of x and we have 1 over x squared. So one strategy that you may try is integration by parts. So let's try the following for u. Take u to be natural log of x. So that means u prime is 1 over x. Now v prime is 1 over x squared. That's the leftover function. And the integral of that is just minus 1 over x. So using the formula for integration by parts, k becomes, the first term is u times v, u is that, v is that. So it becomes minus 1 over x times natural log of x minus, now, the integral of u prime and v, which is minus 1 over x squared dx. We see that this minus will kill that minus, so you have a plus term in front of that integral. Now when we integrate x to the power 
minus 2, you get x to the power minus 1 over minus 1. So k becomes minus 1 over x natural log of x minus 1 over x plus an integration constant. Let's call it d. And that's the answer. Another integral that we can solve using integration by parts is the one that is shown here. So let's set the following u to be natural log of x and v prime to be x. So that means u prime is 1 over x and v is x squared over 2. Now let's apply integration by parts to a. So the first term is u times v. So that is x squared over 2 natural log of x minus now the integral of u prime times v and that's going to give you 1 over x times x squared over 2 dx. So this x will cancel one of the x's on top and a will become x squared over 2 natural log of x minus the integral of x over 2 dx which then becomes x squared over 2 natural log of x minus 1 over 4x to the power 2 plus an integration constant c and that's the final answer. Now let's look at this integral. p is a constant and p cannot assume minus 1. You will see why this is the case in a minute. So let's solve this integral for this condition. So again, using the techniques of integration by parts, let me can set u to be natural log of x. That means u prime is 1 over x. Now v prime is the remaining function, which is x to the power p. So v is x to the power p plus 1 over p plus 1. So now you see if p equals minus 1, this function will become infinite. So for this particular solution, we do not allow p equals to minus 1. We shall look at p equals to minus 1 case separately later. So j becomes, the first term is u times v, so this times that, x to the power p plus 1 over p plus 1, a natural log of x, minus the integral of now u prime, which is 1 over x, times v, which is x to the power p plus 1 over p plus 1 dx. We note that this x will cancel 1x from the top, leaving us with that integrant. So the expression for j will become x to the power p plus 1 over p plus 1 natural log of x, so that's the first term, minus the result of that integration, which can be easily obtained. It will become x to the power p plus 1 over p plus 1 times the existing p plus 1 in the denominator plus an integration constant, let's call it e. So your final answer is x to the power p plus 1 over p plus 1. Let's factor this out. Natural log of x minus 1 over p plus 1 plus an integration constant, and that's the final answer. So as we have mentioned before, the case p equals to minus 1 will not work here because that will give you zero, that will give you zero, and it will give you an infinite result. So now let's consider this result separately now. When p is minus 1, then you have that, which is just 1 over x natural log of x dx. As we have mentioned earlier, if you have 1 over x and natural log of x together, then one substitution that might work is the following. We can set natural log of x, say, to be u. Then 1 over x dx is the differential of u. So rewriting j in terms of u, you get u du. This is your u, and 1 over x times dx is just du, which is easy to solve. It is just half 
u squared plus an integration constant, let's call it c. Now substituting back u in terms of x, you get half natural log of x squared plus c. And that's the final answer. If you find this video useful, please consider subscribing to this channel. It will help the channel to grow considerably. As always, thank you for watching.